Gemini, you are having Mars and Uranus conjunction happening in your 12th house, the house of subconscious, of dreams and hidden matters, uh, the house of even illusion, mediumship, psychic powers, boundaries, and the fantasy world of a wounded escape artist. <laughs> so, Gemini, I urge you to become this transit, become this July, and look at your journey since the end of June last year, see where you were, and see how far you have actually come in terms of your connection to the bigger, intangible, spiritual, deep and fascinating secrets of life. Where do you stand here? Where is your little bubble in this big ocean of opportunities, of shake-ups and shake-downs? How is your subconscious doing? Let's look at the pros and cons of this transit for you, Gemini. The pros, you will have deep psychological insights and you might uncover some deep truths about yourself even deeper than you were going with initially leading to healing leading to growth you might even hear the almighty talking to you the big mother earth talking to you even the birds could be singing their song and you can decipher the messages connect to your guides and angels and whatever works for you to establish that expansive amazing blissful feeling of peace and unity you will have breakthroughs and healing and you have spiritual awakening it's a great time to try some innovative, holistic therapies, spiritual practice, something that just brings you inner peace even more because you have been you have been on a pretty dreadful journey sometimes and you just need that extra care and extra me time, extra transcendence in this already spicy <laughs> margarita. <laughs> The cons of the transit is in a turmoil. And here I would suggest just sleep more, rest more. And if there is anyone out there doing the behind the scenes work that is not of your interest, don't worry. It will be all very, very visible. There's no rock to be unturned. You are so aware of any deception and any hidden agendas and they're coming to light. Whoever wished you not well is going to be that naive person who will be found out eventually. I am wishing you to continue that vivid dream of yours and I'm going to say that every musician and every poet had to experience some sort of darkness before they found their inspiration and light and here Uranus and Mars are going to really show you where you stand in the bigger picture of entire universe.